How to do your own divorce, step five. Hello, I'm John Hind, author of the Divorce Manual. Applying for the final divorce order. Six weeks after the conditional order has been made, you and or your former partner can give notice to the court for the conditional order to be made final. If you're using the paper process, you must do this using form D36. If you and your former partner jointly apply for divorce and one of you has dropped out of the process, that person must be given 14 days notice that the final order is being applied for. If you are using the paper process, you must do this using form D11. If you and your former partner have reconciled, you can jointly apply for a rescission of the conditional divorce order, informing the court that you have reconciled. If you are using the paper process, you must do this again using form D11. The final divorce order will confirm that the marriage has legally ended and explains, among other things, that divorce affects inheritance under a will, often requiring new wills to be drawn up. In the resources section to chapter six of the divorce manual, you'll find the following documents. A notice of application for final order by a sole applicant. A notice of application for final order by joint applicants and a final order certificate. You should also know that if the judge has made your mediated agreement into a binding financial consent order following the conditional divorce order, the financial consent order becomes effective and enforceable on the making of the final divorce order. This means that within six and a half months from starting divorce proceedings, you could be divorced, have a binding financial order and working child arrangements in place where there is the intention and commitment from you and your former partner to achieve this outcome. Thanks for watching this series on how to do your own divorce in five steps. Good luck.